Once hailed as a symbol of safety and innovation, the Boeing 787 is now at the center of growing concern. Passengers who once trusted this aircraft without hesitation are now left anxious as technical issues continue to emerge, especially aboard British Airways flights. This airline, known for its prestige and global reliability, now finds itself in the midst of a serious operational crisis. Its schedule is being disrupted, and its reputation, built over decades, is suddenly at risk. So, what exactly is going wrong with British Airways 787S? And why are these issues becoming so frequent? Touted as the future of aviation, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner was designed with cutting-edge technology, advanced materials, and superior fuel efficiency. Somehow, the seats were too small. It was meant to revolutionize long-haul travel, but ironically, the same features that once made it so desirable are now being questioned. A pattern of technical failures, manufacturing flaws, and lapses in oversight have taken the shine off the Dreamliner's image, leading to multiple global safety warnings and flight restrictions. Many in the aviation industry are starting to wonder whether Boeing's push for innovation came at the cost of long-term reliability. Instead of emphasizing rigorous quality control, the focus appears to have shifted toward rapid development. The result? Aircraft that seem more vulnerable to faults, placing airlines in a difficult position, either ground the jets or risk passenger safety. Recent high-profile accidents have only fueled the fear. One such tragedy involved an Air India 787 where initial reports suggested external causes but new evidence is calling that into question, reviving concerns about the aircraft's design and reliability. And now, British Airways is under the spotlight. On June 15th, a British Airways Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner, en route from London Heathrow to Chennai, experienced a serious technical issue shortly after takeoff. The flight crew detected a malfunction in the aircraft's flaps, essential aerodynamic components that provide lift during takeoff. These flaps failed to retract properly, forcing the aircraft to level off at FL-150 while troubleshooting efforts were underway. When the issue could not be resolved, the pilots initiated fuel dumping procedures over Kent and the English Channel before returning safely to Heathrow. British Airways later confirmed that a technical issue had caused the diversion, specifying the flap malfunction. The aircraft has since remained grounded for inspection, with no official explanation yet for the fault. While no injuries occurred, the risk was real. Extended flaps in flight cause extreme drag, reducing efficiency and increasing strain on the aircraft, something no airline wants to face mid-journey. This incident raises even more questions about the reliability of the Dreamliner. What once symbolized the future of flight is now clouded by recurring problems. As more of these cases emerge, both Boeing and the airlines operating the 787 will face growing scrutiny from passengers, regulators, and the global aviation community. Had the situation turned out differently, the damage to the Boeing 787's reputation could have been significantly worse. Yet, what's truly concerning is that this is just one of multiple problems recently linked to British Airways' 787 fleet. So, what's really happening? But before we dive deeper, it's great to have you here. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us continue bringing you critical aviation updates. Thanks again for sticking with us. Now. This isn't the first time British Airways has encountered issues with its Boeing 787 aircraft. Not long after reinstating a previously discontinued route, the airline suddenly cancelled all summer flights between London Heathrow and Abu Dhabi. But, if Boeing suddenly turns around and declares it's deciding to cancel those flights, this could have huge impact on the rest of the world's air travel. Now, this isn't the first time British Airways has encountered issues with its Boeing summer flights between London Heathrow and Abu Dhabi. While the announcement came as a shock to many, those closely following the situation knew it wasn't entirely unforeseen. 
Behind the decision lies a troubling web of ongoing technical challenges, particularly with the Dreamliner's engines, and an increasing number of grounded aircraft. Several of British Airways 787S are currently out of service, largely due to a lack of available Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines and key replacement components. The all-important Glandy flight was transferred from Bassett City Airport. This shortage has caused widespread disruptions to the airline's schedule and placed immense operational pressure on its already stretched network. But this issue isn't just about flight delays. It's now affecting the airline's broader growth plans during one of the busiest travel seasons of the year. The situation highlights how deeply British Airways has come to rely on the 787 fleet, a jet once hailed for its fuel efficiency and forward-thinking design. But the reliability of the aircraft, especially when it comes to its engines, is now drawing serious scrutiny across the aviation sector. British Airways is no exception to this growing concern. In its public statement, the airline cited significant delays in the delivery of Trent 1000 engines and essential spares from Rolls-Royce as the primary reason for suspending the Abu Dhabi route. The engine, once celebrated for delivering over 20% better fuel economy than its predecessor, the Boeing 767, is now under fire due to persistent mechanical issues and inconsistent availability. British Airways acknowledged that this isn't the first time it has faced challenges with engine part shortages. Even its Airbus A380 fleet has been impacted by similar supply chain problems in the past. But halting a major international service during peak season is a far more serious move, one that points to deeper, unresolved issues with the Dreamliner program. Currently, British Airways operates 41 Boeing 787 aircraft, including 12 of the 8 variant, 18 of the 9, and 11 of the 10. The airline is also awaiting delivery of 7 additional S-10. However, industry analysts warn that these incoming jets may also be affected by the same ongoing engine shortages, further complicating the carrier's future planning and growth. To mitigate the disruption, British Airways, part of the International Airlines Group, has arranged contingency options for passengers including same-day rebookings with partner airlines or full refunds where applicable. The airline also noted that it is in close contact with Rolls-Royce, urging the manufacturer to take immediate action and prioritize the delivery of critical components needed to get its fleet back in the air. Despite the airline's efforts to manage flight schedules and maintain service quality, a deeper question remains unanswered. Can the Boeing 787 once considered the future of long-haul travel, ever regain the full trust of both airlines and passengers. British Airways isn't alone in facing these challenges. When it suspended its summer route between London and Abu Dhabi due to Trent 1000 engine complications, it became part of a larger pattern. Several major international carriers are dealing with similar reliability issues tied to the same engine type. For instance, all Nippon Airways ANA, one of the largest operators of the 727, has been battling problems linked to the Trent 1000 since 2016. The airline discovered structural damage and corrosion on engine blades, prompting widespread maintenance efforts. These complications disrupted ANA's long-haul network for years, leading to multiple flight cancellations and route suspensions. SMS's maidens, ANA also publicly pushed both Rolls-Royce and Boeing to take urgent action, stating that passenger trust had been severely shaken. Lufthansa, while also affected, has adopted a more measured approach. The airline has consistently emphasized the importance of timely spare part deliveries and long-term reliability in its communications with manufacturers. Although not impacted as severely as ANA or British Airways, Lufthansa has had to adjust its operations and implement additional maintenance cycles across its Dreamliner fleet. Unlike British Airways, however, neither ANA nor Lufthansa has had to cancel major routes for extended periods. Their focus on preventive strategies and closer technical coordination with suppliers has helped them reduce the operational fallout from these recurring issues. In contrast, British Airways is now dealing with the full impact of mounting technical concerns 
on what was once considered a flagship aircraft, raising pressing questions about the future of its fleet strategy and Boeing's credibility in the wide-body aircraft segment. These ongoing problems have only deepened the challenges facing the broader aviation sector, especially in the wake of recent high-profile incidents. Prior to this month's Air India crash, the Boeing 787 had maintained an impressive safety record, with no full-haul loss events on file. However, that spotless image has long been clouded by ongoing production flaws, build quality concerns, and repeated global grounding orders. While the exact cause of the Air India crash is still unknown, the tragedy has placed renewed focus on Boeing's manufacturing processes. Adding to the concerns, just two days after the AI-171 disaster, another Air India 787-8 operating as flight AI-315 from Hong Kong to New Delhi experienced a separate technical issue. Shortly after departure, the crew reported a fuel filter fault in the right engine. Thankfully, the aircraft returned safely to Hong Kong, but remained grounded for over 30 hours while undergoing inspection and repair. Now nearly two weeks since the AI-171 crash, the investigation continues without a definitive conclusion. In the meantime, confidence in Boeing's Dreamliner program is being tested like never before. At this point in the investigation, authorities have largely dismissed pilot error, fuel contamination, and bird strikes as possible causes. However, several other scenarios remain under review. What has been confirmed so far is that the pilots reported a complete loss of thrust and the aircraft's ram air turbine, designed to power essential systems in emergencies, was deployed, strongly suggesting a total failure of both electrical and hydraulic systems. Boeing now finds itself in crisis mode once again. Deliveries of the 787 have been halted, and any ongoing fixes are taking place under close scrutiny from the F. But what's becoming increasingly clear is that these aren't isolated technical problems. The recurring nature of these incidents points to deeper, systemic flaws, specifically in the Dreamliner's manufacturing process and internal quality controls. The troubled history of the 787 dates back to 2013, when two separate incidents involving lithium-ion battery fires forced a global grounding of the entire fleet. Boeing had to completely redesign the battery system in response. Then, in 2020, another major disruption emerged. Deliveries were suspended for 15 months after an FAA audit uncovered multiple quality assurance failures during production. These weren't the only red flags. Over the years, whistleblowers from inside Boeing have made serious allegations, claiming that the company overlooked key safety protocols during assembly and allowed structural defects to go unaddressed. The controversy escalated again in 2024 when Boeing engineer Sam Salapur publicly stated that critical steps in the 787's construction process had been skipped potentially compromising the aircraft's long-term strength. Boeing denied the allegations, but by then, trust had already eroded further, leaving the Dreamliner's reputation hanging by a thread. Adding to this growing list of issues are ongoing problems with the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines, one of two power plant options available for the 787. Since 2016 these engines have faced repeated durability problems, starting with cracked turbine blades discovered in all Nippon Airways fleet. What began as isolated concerns soon evolved into a costly, widespread maintenance nightmare affecting multiple airlines across the globe. Ultimately, it was the automatic reset button that launched the International Airlines crash scandal. The constant need for extensive engine repairs has turned what was once considered a marvel of efficiency into an expensive operational burden. Making matters worse, global supply chain disruptions have now created new complications. Rolls-Royce, like many other suppliers, is facing difficulties in sourcing the critical parts needed to maintain and rebuild its engines. As a result, dozens of Dreamliners are currently grounded awaiting replacement components for months at a time. Airlines such as Vietnam Airlines are already feeling the pressure. Lengthy maintenance timelines have forced them to cut back flight schedules, reduce route availability, and absorb significant financial losses. 
But it's not just the carriers that are paying the price. Boeing itself is now dealing with a major production backlog. A growing number of fully assembled 787 aircraft are sitting on factory lots, ready for delivery, but missing engines. With the supply of Trent 1000 units severely restricted, the production line is facing a near standstill. Delivery dates are being pushed further and further into uncertainty, casting a long shadow over the future of the 787 program.